Hi, I'm Steve Irwin, an application engineer supporting the Stratasys line of printers that we sell here at Go Engineer. Today I wanted to show you a diagnostic that you can use to understand why there is no power to your printer. There are two primary reasons for not having power to your printer. This is part one, two-part series. The first reason is a temperature related issue that happens when you lose chamber fans inside of the heating area. If these fans go out, there is a snap switch that will pop like a breaker, keeping the printer from catching fire. When this happens, all power is removed from the printer until the snap switch has been reset. All dimension printers, 768 BSTs or SST, and Elite 1200, 1200 ES BST or SST exhibit this issue, as well as the Fortis 250 MC. I will illustrate the steps needed to check these problems out. Safety should always be our first priority. When we start to work on the printers, we should always turn off the breaker and the switch on the front and unplug the printer. I will be showing these steps on the Fortis 250MC printer, but they can be accomplished on any of the printers illustrated in the previous slide. The first thing to do is turn the printer around and locate the five screws on the back side of the printer. These screws should be loosened and not removed. This holds on a panel that can be lifted off and removed to help in the process of removing side covers. After the screws have been loosened, the back panel can be lifted up in the direction of the arrow and set aside revealing the interior of the printer. Next, you will want to remove the forklift covers that are held in place by an Allen screw. Now you want to locate four screws that can be completely removed, allowing the side panel to be slid backwards and removed and set aside so that you can get to the side of the printer. After removing the side cover, go to the side and locate four screws that hold on the silver plate with the danger symbol on it. This is where we're going to be able to get to the snap switch. You can find the snap switch and depress it. After the snap switch has been depressed, you can now plug the printer back in, turn on the breaker and the switch on the front of the printer. If the printer comes to life, then you know the problem was a thermal issue. You can now reassemble your printer and call Go Engineer RP Support and ask them to order you a set of chamber fans. Then the repair will be able to be completed. Next, we will be looking at the U-Print and see how that process is done. It's very close to the same process as the dimension printers we've looked at. All U-Print models follow the exact same procedure to check the snap switch. The biggest difference between the U-Print and the previous models we have looked at is the fact that there are only two chamber fans as opposed to four. And the other difference is that there's a snap switch on each side of the U-print and only on one side of the previous models. You can now turn your U-print around and locate nine screws to remove the top, right, and left panels of the U-print. After the panels have been removed, you can now go to each side of the printer and locate the little panel with the danger sign on it and remove those screws. 
and get ready to select the snap switch on each side. After the snap switch has been depressed, you can now plug the printer back in, turn on the breaker, and the switch on the side of the printer. If the printer comes to life after depressing both snap switches, you are now ready to call Go Engineer RP Support and ask them to order two chamber fans for your U-print. This has been Steve Irwin with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching this video on diagnosing no power to your printer part one.